So in this last video, we talk about modules, how I can create modules and uh, how a single page is treated as a module in a Node.js project. Now let's talk about some inbuilt modules present in Node.js. So when we install Node.js in our local environment, there are several packages that, that are pre-installed by the node in your local so that you can use that easily directly. So one of the most important modules in that is file system. File system is a module which you can use to interact with any file or folder in your whole application. So let's say if you want to create some file, create some folder or you want to edit some file in some folder or you can if you want to move or copy some file or folder to, through the Node.js project, then you can use this file system. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a full stack web developer who is building application in Node.js for a long time. So I'm making this whole Node.js tutorial just to help you to get started with Node.js and later on I'm going to build some huge project in Node.js so that it will help you to develop Nextpetty in the Node.js. If you are new here, I will recommend you to hit the subscribe button right now and also hit the little notification bell. So that next time whenever I'm going to upload some video on web development, you will get directly on your feed. Now let's talk about the file system. The so first thing which we are going to talk about is how we are going to use some inbuilt modules inside our project. So first now let's clear up the file and let's close this package JSON. And here we are going to click do all our coding related to file system. So first we have to re import that, right? So, so that for that, we are going to use the same convention which we used in our last video. Let's import the file system, which we can do by require. And in that also like we have to use this FS. So FS stands for file system and using this file system, you can interact with any file or a folder in your application. Uh, so we are going to do some basic file system uh, task, which will help us to understand how we can use this file system and how, at what extent you can do stuffs in Node.js. So first I'm going to create a new file inside this folder. So for that, we have multiple methods available in the file system. So I will just list down all the file system and use one of them. So first is the append file, which we can use to create a new file. And along with creating, you can add directly something in that file. So let's use that. So for that, I'm going to just say file system dot. Once you write append, you will get two options. So there are two options available for appending a file that will be a sync and a sync. So this depend on you how you want to create the file. So I am going to use append file, which will be an async method. And the first parameter which we have to pass over here is the name of the file. So here I'm just going to create a new file name as message.txt. So it will create a new text file in which we are going to add some plain text. So let's add that as well. So here I'm going to add the name of my channel, which is code with Kamran. This will be automatically get added to the file. And then we have to pass a callback. So callback is a function which will be called once this whole function is done. So let's add that function as well. The first parameter of this function will be error and the second will be the data for which we are going to get as a output of this function. So here we have to handle this error. We are going to just simply handle as if error, then we are going to console this error over here. Uh, so if not error, then we have to just console files created. So this is the basic method which we use to create a file and append some content inside this while creating that. Let's try to run this and see the output. So here I'm just going to run npm start. So you can see the file created have been printed. That means our function has run successfully. And in this also, you can see a new file has been created name as message.txt with the content of code with camera. Now, this is the first method which you can use to create a new file. So another method which we, you can use is open and this will just simply create a file without appending anything. And in that the second parameter is always the, if in which mode you want to open this or create this file. So mode can be read 
or write this method will simply create a text file without appending anything on that so if i delete this existing file now if i run the command again then we can see that the file created is again printed over here and a new file is created without any content so we have talked about two of the methods to create how we can create a file now let's talk about the third before talking about the third method to create a new file we just going to remove this file and now we are going to use a new method so for that i am going to use write so once you write so you have to say write file so what write file will do write file will create a new file and along with creating the file you can add a content in that file i can add a content hey i am here again so write file will create a file and will add a content as well so let's run this and see the output again now once i run this and you can see the file created again printed on the output and the message text file is again created with the content inside this now we have talked about all the three methods which we can use to create a new file now it's time to use some method to update that files so we is let's say if we have some existing file which we want to update the content then we can use multiple methods in the file system to do that the first method which we are going to use is the write file itself so in this case we have already have this message.txt so what we can do we can just simply update the content of this uh, file so so using the same method write file we can update the content as well so uh, if i am going to change this content so once i run this script again then the content of this message text will be updated uh, so right now it is hey i am here but once i run this npm start once the script successfully run you can see the text on inside this message text is updated to hey i am updated and you can do the same using append file as well which we used to create the file itself so you can try that as well that is your homework and now we are going to talk about how we can delete a file so deleting a file is also a simple task so we can simply delete a file using an unlink method so instead of write file uh, if i say unlink a file and uh, in that we don't have to pass any content so i have to remove this parameter then this method will just simply remove this file and i can say that uh, file is deleted so if i run then this message text will disappear or deleted from here so let's run the script and now you can see here the file deleted has been printed over here so first you can see that the file is deleted from this folder and now we have created updated and deleted a file so these are the basic operations which you can do on any file or folder in using file system in node.js there are all also lots of complicated methods also available in file system which you can use to read long files append to different files or you can use multiple methods to all together to create some complex method out of that i hope this this video helps you to understand the basics of file system in node.js in another video we can take up some complex operations and do with file system till that start practicing the file system basic operations and happy coding everyone see you in the next video